Welcome, this is DBS Morning News. My name is Florence Ndongo. Legislators across the political divide have vowed to support President Uhuru Kenyatta's decision whether to attend the International Criminal Court ICC Status Conference tomorrow or not. Led by Senate Majority Leader Kithuke Kindichi, they said they will stand by the President whatever choice he makes concerning ICC summons. The Senate Majority Leader noted that the head of state has a good legal team that will support him for whatever decision he makes. And Machakos County Majority Leader was slapped on the face by his female wife a nominated MCA after they deferred on protocol. Pandemonium broke when Joshua Mwonga arrived at the function and demanded to talk last, although he is the area MCA. Carol Musembi, a wiper nominated MCA allied to Muthama, took the podium and started introducing other invited guests. But when she invited the embattled Machakos Deputy Governor Bernard Kiala, the MCA grabbed the microphone from Carol who began being angry by the action gave him a resounding slap on the face. Trouble started when the Muthama's MCAs started addressing the crowd, accusing the MCAs and Mutua for eating pears as a otherwise known as elderly fans, which saw a Kalakala um, MCA, Isaac Mwinde, also allied to Muthama, rise up to defend the county assembly as he is the chairman for budget allocation. The meeting went on as a battle, a, a bitter senator, Johnson Muthama, warned that all wiper MCAs who are not supporting the party stand will be removed. President Uhuru Kenyatta has been categorically called upon to immediately form a commission of inquiry to investigate the allegations against the county government of Makweni as the first step towards its suspension. The president of the National Civil uh, Society Congress, NCSC, working under the Jukwala Katiba Citizens Constitutional uh, Platform, Maurice Othiambo, at a press briefing in Nairobi, yesterday said the county has failed to serve its citizens and the actions of the governor Kivuda Kibwana in the case shows that no no amount of reconciliation will work. Oh, Shangilia Mtoto Africa Education and Performing Arts Center yesterday opened their new home in Loresho area in Nairobi. The center, which was formerly located in Kangemi, has made it possible for 274 street children to have better classroom, dormitories, and a six-acre playing ground, hence making the premise more conducive to continue running its charity activities. Lillian Waidera with the details. The Sharon Foundation, in partnership with other organizations, together with the central and county government, is working towards elimination, elimination of rabies in the country by 2030. While launching the rabies education eradication campaign in Makwini County, speakers led by Governor Kivuda Kibwana emphasized the importance of vaccinating dogs and other animals against rabies in order to prevent the deadly disease that claims 2,000 lives in Kenya every year. Josephine Wawera with the details. Recently, a Kenyan Angelican pastor was allegedly caught red-handed with a woman who is a member of his church. Most Kenyans now have been claiming that it's not appealing to attend church services in the country, especially when it shows that some wolves can hide in shepherd's clothing. The incident occurred barely a month after another pastor was found dead in the bedroom of one of his followers. However, Christians from across the country have been urged not to shy away from attending the church service and worshipping in truth and in spirit. This was said during a, pr a prayer and worship service of praise and worship experience at Kenya Cinema where Christians from different counties gathered for worship. Glad you're still watching DBS Morning News. Let's now cross over to the world of sports. And welcome to GBS Sports News. The Nairobi Swimming Age Group Championship is crucial for swimmers who feature in the AA Gala events as they focus on achieving the required qualifying time standards in the waters. In the meantime, USA, USIU women's basketball team was ruthless against fragile storms in both a team's return leg of the season at the Nyao National Stadium. Emma Nyakweba and Burundian Cynthia Irakunda orchestrated their superiority as the varsity remained supreme in the 52-37 victory of the blue jersey. Amber Collins has more details on that report. And in the English Premier League, Radamol Falcao scored his first goal 
in the English football as Manchester United beat uh, as Manchester United recorded back-to-back -back victories for the first time under Louis van Gaal and as Chelsea reigned supreme at Stamford Bridge, beating Arsenal 2-0, a match that rekindled forward between managers Arsene Wenger and Jose Mourinho as their long-running forward turned physical on the touchline. Manio Kevin with the details. The memory of last season's league double. Wow, Diego Costa with a wonderful loop there, despite the fact that he's still nursing a hamstring injury. Well, Sports News winds up this morning news bulletin, but keep it right here on GBS TV for more informative news as President Uhuru Kenyatta is expected to have a special uh, meeting with both houses at 3 p.m. at Parliament buildings and also will be keeping in touch with news coming from Machakos County, which has a lot of political squabbles. My name is Florence Ndonga. We do this again tomorrow morning. God bless you and have a wonderful week ahead.